But look at them. They're all jumping for joy. Uh, you can see on the minimap that I lit this entire little Oh my gosh, out. you did. Uh, I cleared all the flowers out of it. I built little homes. I all have two beds. I'm planning on having villagers in here. Ooh, you're going to want to finish the wall then because they will just wander away. Oh, sorry. I kind of tore up your riverbanks. Oh, that's fine. I You did that before I started building, obviously. I'm yeah. not upset. <laughs> Th this, was, this was right here a split second decision to put up a wall and like section this off to be a village area. Mm -hmm. Um, That's pretty smart. Um, Looks like you're giving your villagers more freedom though. I started Trader's Way. You saw that, right? I started my own little villager extravaganza and then I went to Trader's Way and then I saw your villagers. So I did that. You can and put them on honey blocks and it'll stop them from moving around, but they'll be in like a spot within their table area. No, I, I, I let them move around because they're funny, goofy, silly. <laughs> or otherwise, I would have threw them in the minecart. But look at them. They're all jumping for joy. See, the funny thing is, I can walk through here because I don't have a forehead the size of Jesus. All right, I need to... Oh, I thought oh, that was I... only one axolotl for a second. I was like, what happened to the other one? I have 31 emeralds. I'm going to chill here until that villager grows up because I need... I need to get my own and like villager stuff going. I was I using the did. goblins for that, but I don't know why. But the goblins are not refreshing their trades. I I, I noticed that. Um, the you think that's like intentional because they're supposed to despawn and then respawn? Well, no, because I enable. There's a specific spot in the config to enable them to do trade, like refresh their trades and stuff, and it's just not working. I guess we are paying no. fabric, which is an unofficial port, so it might just be bugged. Yeah, this is Trader's Way for now. I'm gonna... No, you're in, you're here. Okay, hang on. Um, I should probably expand this a little bit. I do think building a proper village would be cute, but I also, like, don't know if I want to go through the hassle of that. So I'm probably gonna automate some villager farms over out here in Trader's Way. Um, mm -hmm. it's not very hard but it is very effective. I'm gonna make an iron farm probably at some point too. I don't know if I'm gonna do yeah. that today. That, that, yeah, yeah. Why are we lagging so hard? These zombies are like moving at like oh, speed I'm of pixels. Into, uh, having mending on your stuff is nice because I can heal my sword and it doesn't like destroy. Yeah, it is really nice. I put it on, I put it on my, um, my pickaxe called Beefy Boy. Yeah. I level 30 enchanted an iron pickaxe, unfortunately. I just wanted a nice, like, temporary pickaxe until I upgraded, but now yeah. I just have a really nice iron pickaxe. The spawner just spawned a baby zombie on a chicken, and it was able to escape. So be wary of that. So I think it's probably just a bug in the fabric version that they aren't refreshing their trades, which is unfortunate, but that means that... I wonder if we should still keep them here, because I'm, like, attached to them, but now I just wonder... If we should just let them despawn next time. I like putting the enchanted yep. armor through the grindstone and getting just a little extra XP. <laughs> that's a really good idea. That's why you have that, isn't it? Yep. And that's I why the same I did visit your time. base a few times just to check what was going on. Yeah. Is that how this water got back here? The one, the stuff that's falling from your platform? Yeah. No, that's been there. Like ever since you let me up that first time no i removed it so that's why i was saying and someone put it back because it's been oh. there as long as i can remember that's so weird because i removed it yesterday when i was working on ari's um little farm area yeah, that's weird that's creepy oh knee plant might have put it back yeah although i can't knee plant a waystone so you can teleport well yeah but it's still like if if we're trying to bring animals up here especially oh yeah you can use cages you know Cages? Oh my god. Cages allow you to store animals in your inventory. Oh, that is so nice. I'm using that from now on. I didn't know about that. By the way, were you the one that came over and wrote D on every single one of the signs? No. The knee plant did. It the might... knee plant came over. The... It might have been someone what? else, though. There are other people that do have access to the server. And on every single sign on my house, there was a D. So I went through and I had to painstakingly remove every single one of them. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I wish I, I had know. done that. That's so funny.
Okay, I am. I made a bridge so that it is easier to get to our base, so you don't have to like go down that massive drop and then get to the water. So now it's a lot easier. There's a bridge right on the hill area that you have to go past. Hey, see down there? There's like a little bridge oh. now. Yeah. Okay. Going so over like, that what? huge drop. It's the bridge. All right, hold on. I'll I'll put it on public real quick, and then you can teleport to it. Okay. Register it. It should be public now. Evie's mine. Yeah. Oh my one. god. So, I was um, exploring one day, and I came across this place. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is actually the same place the mine shaft was discovered in. But don't jump down here because the ladders don't fully extend, but there's a spider spawner on this side, and then I think on the other side as well. There's two of them? Yeah. Within the same, like, radius? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I here? went down this yeah, I went down that way, and I didn't destroy the spawner because I died. Um, the find of a century. Aren't you glad you have me? I am very happy that we have this. <laughs> this is going to be fucking awesome. So it's safe to be down here now. The light level should be high enough that more can't spawn in. I hear them. Well, on the other side, yeah, but there are none on this side. Oh. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to turn that into a double spawner. I have to look up how to do double spawners. I've never done a double one yet, so. Okay. I don't know. One night I woke up and I was like, is animatronic a real word? Like in my brain, animatronic was just not measuring. I had been watching like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. And for some reason, animatronic just sounded wrong. I'm going to have to have a word with the person that found these. Because I told him we need the torches down so that they can't spawn. I'm going to die down here. I'd rather not die down here. All right, we're going to wait a second and heal up while we get rid of our poison. <laughs> I'm pretty much wearing nothing. YouTube, don't censor me, please. My content's been doing so good in the algorithm. Please, YouTube, have mercy. And I guess I can just like post this as kind of like a guide on how I would build a two by or a two spawner farm i've actually never done this before so we're gonna see how this goes i did try looking up a tutorial and the one i saw was by waddles but i didn't really fully watch it i just kind of got a couple ideas from it so if you're wondering where the idea for making this spawner came from it's waddles kind of i need the bread because i'm gonna be losing a lot of health we can use all of these extra blocks for when we're making the spawners it doesn't have to be pretty on the inside where the spawners are because it's not gonna be visible to everybody so and that should be about what we have to dig out but thankfully we don't really have to dig out that far so this is gonna have to move okay it's fine all right i'm gonna go ahead and dig out the area before i worry about replacing blocks i feel like that's a big mistake a lot of people wind up making is they just start replacing blocks way earlier than they're supposed to So this is kind of what we're working with. Okay, and we have our space dug out for the most part. We do need to dig downward a bunch, which is not gonna be a whole lot of fun. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in the roof before I dig out more. Just, I figured I'd record my entire process for this cause I'm like, it can't hurt. All right, and we are just about sealed in. We are sealed in with the proper shit. Just about, I just need to grab this part up here, it looks like. There we go. So we need to figure out how we're going to get these spawners to work. So my thought process is I have a water source here and then that brings them to this middle area, which will drop them down. Okay, so I'm gonna build this much like how I would build a, a standard spider farm. So there's gonna be a water source here and ideally no lanterns. So let's just go ahead and rid of that but i'm worried that when they collide with this wall they'll crawl up i don't know I'll, I'll have to test it in a minute i'm gonna save these blocks because i tend to use them for building in other places so i'm just gonna save them for now after this layer i'm gonna go level up my pickaxe again because my pickaxe has mending on it so i'm gonna go take it to the zombie spawner and uh level it up there don't think these guys are refreshing trades at all so we were gonna keep them for trading but they don't refresh their trades and i'm guessing it's because of some bug that's going on because it is a an unofficial port i'm gonna go to trader's way and just trade with the villagers i have here refresh your trades thank you sir 
Bye bye. All right, now we can just go ahead and give it all this. Okay, so we have the bulk of the stuff dug out. I don't really know how this is gonna work. My guess is, here, let me do this. But then I don't want them to get stuck up here. All right, it's looking pretty good. And we wanna have them just flow forward. Not too far though, because we gotta be within 16 blocks in order for the spawner to work. Place some torches in here just for now. It's gonna be a nightmare to get rid of all these torches. Oh, well, hello. I do actually have iron to trade with this guy this time. So they have this dug out and they have walls here. And so I need to expand this forward a little, but I don't want to get too far from the spawners. I don't think this is too far, but it might, it's kind of encroaching on maybe a little far. There, okay. And we need slabs, okay? And then I would need this to be the stone brick wall part. And then the chest would be here. Like so, and then... That would be there, and there, and there. Okay. Now this makes a lot more sense. And then it should catch the spiders and should force them this way. So I think this, and then I need... I need water. So I'm gonna actually put this hopper this way so that we can get a little closer to the spiders. This is gonna be hard to do. I'm just gonna have to build around and slowly break them all. I might get bit a bit and get- I don't want to get poisoned, but I'm probably gonna get poisoned a bit while I'm doing this. <laughs> I love how the items just like race forward. It's really funny. Alright, and that should do it. There. It's kind of a nightmare hodgepodge from the outside, but it looks really- it really works on the inside. Alright, toggle global and spider spawner. Or we can name it Spider Farm. I'm gonna put a little sign here warning people that if they get too close they will get- they will get poisoned. Well this worked out pretty well I'd say. So there is my design and process that I went with for this spawner. Um, if you have a double spawner that's evenly spaced I would say this should work in your world but if you don't have one that's evenly spaced just follow the basic principles so you want all your spiders to go into one little area like how i have them all flowing down to here so there's a little bit of backup in the spiders um from what i looked at but it doesn't seem like there's a, a whole lot of it so i wouldn't worry too much if it was like an incredible amount i would worry but if it's not like a huge amount of spiders getting backed up in your spawner then i wouldn't worry because there will be some that get backed up no matter what you do 